basic Taekwondo and at the end I will be putting in a demonstration. So first I'm just going to, going to explain the Korean commands I'll use throughout the session. I use Chaji Ao which basically means attention stance. Chumbi which just means go to like, it, it, it means just like get ready and we usually do it before we start a form or breaking. And there are a few other things that I'll also. One of the most basic things we ever learned is something called horse riding stance. We're going to start with horse riding stance, which is basically one of the most basic things we ever learned. So, horse riding stance. And watch me. So, just step out into here. So, go. Like step out. Yep. You guys got it. I'm going to count to 10 in Korean. I just want you guys to punch after me. Ready? Set. Go. Hey! Next, I'll explain what kind of Korean numbers and counting we use. So we count to 10 in Korean. You guys can follow along with me. You don't necessarily have to, but counting to 10 in Korean is na, do, se, ne, da, se, ya, se, do, 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 aho, and yo. So I'll just be counting like that, but you guys necessarily don't have to. Okay, can them can dance after me. Ready, set, go. Okay, go back. Okay, and now we're gonna start with two different kinds of stretches just to get us warmed up so we won't hurt ourselves doing kicks. We're just gonna start with short stretch, which is down here. So basically, I want you guys to point your toes up and just reach down and touch your toes just here. Yeah. Roundhouse kick. You guys can go back and kick these hands. So, roundhouse kick is just like front snap kick. Like, it just sounds like front snap kick, but instead, you're just gonna turn. Just add the turn there. Um, just. If you guys want to, you can aim to the face because I'm tall, right? Go like this, but if you want to, you can also aim to the body. It really depends on your height. But, so we're just gonna do five on this side. So, one. You guys can let me know if I'm going too fast.
We're going to do the last kick in this part of the session. Kick extension B. So we're gonna do something called a side kick. If you guys have done this before, you probably learned it at white ball or yellow belt. This is one of the more easy kicks. But what you're gonna do is just, so you can do like this, you can shuffle forward and hit. This is the only pushing kick. The other two are snapping people, this is you can get pushing. Or you can do shuffle kick or you can just do. That. So whatever you guys feel comfortable with. So we're gonna do five on this side. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this one, but if you guys want to do the stuff, kick then you can. So let's start with five on this side. Ready? Set. Go. Two. Three. Four. And five, five. You guys can add that yellow if you want. A yellow is just to add impact on the kick. So when you kick, it just feels like a lot more impact and like just um. So if I were to kick, I I just yell on the impact. If you guys feel like doing that, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Let's switch feet, and we're gonna do five on this side. Hi. One. Yep. Two. I'm adding a little more shuffle jump to it. Technically it's supposed to be like shuffle hop, but I'm adding the jump because I am a higher level. If you guys feel like adding the jump, feel free to if you don't want to jump. Three. Yep. Four. And five. Hi. So I want everyone to just come here. Get ready. I'll try to do this as slow as possible because it's in the form, so it does have a lot of movement in it. So I want you guys to start with your setup just right here. So one hand. We're normally like at your waist where my belt would be in then here. So then I want you guys to. So before actually before we start, I want to show you the three basic stances we do. So this is for starting stance starting to this. This is always you're leaning in here and it's with your toes forward. So then there's that. And then this is back stance. So what happens with back stance is that you're leaning on your back leg and your front toes are pointed forward. So this this does hurt a lot if you go to the right position because you're leaning on your back leg. And then forward stance is this. So it's kind of like a lunge here. So, okay. So now we're already start. So we just start with the setup here. And then step out, back stance. So this is called the face block. And then this is a body block. So basically com combined face block and body block. So when we're ready, I want you guys to reach back. And then this is called an uppercut. Just go under. Yep. Yep. And then I want you guys to step back. Yeah, there you go. So then we're just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Side up here. Yep. Reach back. Uppercut. Step back. And then hand strike. Please tell me in the chat if you this too fast because I'm used to how fast we go. So I'm doing it real fast. And what I want you to do, this is gonna be a little hard to see, but this is called neck hand strike. So I want you guys to reach back. One hand is pointed totally towards the back, and then the other hand is right here near your shoulder. Then you're gonna go from there and just go step into back, stand and forward. And then, then you're gonna put one hand down, just step forward. And then step forward here. And then this one's gonna be a little hard to see. I want you to twist. Just one hand goes to my belt, and one hand goes to my, um, like one hand goes here. And then from there, you're gonna unscrew from there, and go here. And then step forward, punch. You can yell if you guys want to. So normally what I do from here is just go from here, and then, hey! So I'd yell, you guys don't have to yell if you want, don't want to, but we have the yell first impact. Then from here, we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did at the start of the form. You're gonna be seeing back of me because I'm gonna be turning, so just so you guys know. Um, so we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna turn. So just do that exact same thing we did at the beginning set up here. So it's basically gonna be like this, because we're just doing the same thing. And just the same exact thing we just did. So the same exact thing we did at the beginning. Um, I will be going back to this way. This is just 
and then same exact thing on the other side. Most farms don't. Then, no can try. Snap kick. Turn to the face. The first one is turn to the body. This is turn to the face. You're basically just. And then step back, body block. And then. Punch. And then the back end is different way around. Body block. Actually, no, this is down block. Sorry. Down block here. And then step out of that. Punch. Same thing on the other side. And you guys can go back. So, we're gonna. So basically what happens is that we're gonna do the same thing here the first time. And we're gonna do the same thing when we go back up here. And back and forth is also the same thing. And then the only time we change is when we go back here the final time. So you guys ready? I'll try to get close to the camera. The only thing is the reason I have to turn around is because this is part of the form. So I'll try to go slower with this. Okay, so set up to the belt or where your waist would be. Whenever you guys are ready, just this. And then step out. Up. Set up neck hand. So this is neck hand short. Um, and then from here we're gonna go here. Same thing. Back. Up. Neck hand. So everyone has that roll. Okay. You guys ready to move on? Yep. Okay, so. From here, like I say, you're gonna just reach back and go from here and just step forward. And this is called neck and step forward. Um, and then you're gonna actually front snap kick, okay, step forward here. Yeah, there we go. And then I want you guys to turn. So the hand that's doing this for your finger is just gonna be close to your hand, and the other hand is gonna be close to your hand. And then you're gonna turn. And then when I step forward and do my punch, you guys can add your yell. I'm gonna yell. You guys can yell if you want. And then over here, you see everyone. Hey! Yep. Okay. Remember that oh, that hand that's never punching will always stay glued to your waist. It won't move. And then from here, this is the part when I'm going to start to go, where you're gonna sit back with me. The only thing here, you're doing the same exact thing you were doing at the beginning. So just, we're gonna go here. And then just, body block. So basically, and then just do the same exact thing you guys were doing at the beginning. So from body block, back, upper cut, neck and strike. Same exact thing on the other side. So then I'm gonna go back this way. I'm gonna reach, neck and strike. Front snap kick. Neck and strike. Neck and strike to the pack. Back. So we're doing the exact same thing here when you turn, but just turn your one hand to your face, so you're protecting your face. From here, we're gonna step back, body block. Step forward, punch. From here, we're gonna go down block. Reach out with your one hand, punch. Same as that thing on the other side, down block. Reach out, punch. Cuddle, jump. You might see your hips up for me. Thank you, sir. Okay. So side kick is basically just, we did this during work, we did this during kicking. So I just want you guys to step back. So I'm gonna actually be doing this on a real board, so. is one of the bar breaks we did. So that's side kick. And you can get a basic idea of what, how we do it on boards. So now we're actually gonna start with a, I'm gonna do a hand break here. So what I want you guys to do, this is the first hand break. That, this is the only hand break I'm actually gonna be teaching today, but just reach back with your one hand. This is one of the two things that has two setups and then actually hitting. So just, it's like one. So you'd be setting up so you know where your board is. This is just, after your first reach, you're just gonna go back and then reach again. And then third time you're gonna bring it back and then yell, hey! And then actually hit the board with the impact. Hey! 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 Oh. Okay. 
And so that was one of the more basic breaks I did with my foot. Um, and one of my favorite hand breaks personally. Um, and I'm actually, I'm gonna do some of the board breaks that I do for black belt testing. So, so now is more of something where you can watch me. You can try to do it, just don't hurt yourself. Okay. This is my board breaks for black belt testing. Spinning kick, um, left hand strike, and flying side kick. Hey! That's neck hand strike. Personally, hand breaks are definitely my favorite. Um, this is spinning kick. Hey! Hey! And this is flying side kick. Hey! Hey! And those were three of my breaks that I'm doing for black belt testing. I will teach you guys some higher level kicks. So, like I said, front snap kick. This is front snap. You put it later, branch it off into head. Dumping front snap kick. Roundhouse kick later, branch it off into turning behind. And then later on, flying psychic. Psychic does go into flying psychic. Um, so back kick is also, like, it's similar to spinning kick, several pushing. So self defense, and once that's far, I guarantee two different things. Um, self defense is less on so strong, but it has more contact. It's um, more of like, um, pushing someone onto their stomach or their back, whereas once you're firing a lot of kicks and still doing it with someone, but self-defense is a lot more contact. So let's start. Self-defense, Chumbi. Hi, so basically before we do self-defense, you're just gonna cross your hands and just, hey. So imagine if there's someone like standing right there, you know. Um, so they'd be grabbing both of your hands. Self-defense, Chumbi is basically just says, I want you guys to cross your hands. And then just go like this. Yep. So imagine if someone was to grab both of your hands. Sadly, I'm not allowed to do it with anyone right now because it's COVID, so I can't do it with anyone. Um, it's not safe for us. But um, so someone is grabbing you. Bring one hand up. Grab the other hand. So this would be if someone's grabbing you, and you'd grab their hand. You'd escape their hand, and then you'd grab their other hand. And then you'd bring them down, and then you go. Basically, what's happening here is that someone has grabbed both my wrists. I escape their grab, grab their other hand, bring my hand down, step out, and basically knock them onto their back. Hi, and then punch them in the face, basically. So, self-defense is very, very like, um, it involves a lot of contact, as you can see, because I'm taking people down to the ground. Um, so the second one now, here is the self-defense. And then here we'd be turning around. So try to do this as best as you can. So you'd be turning around. So your opponent is grabbing here. So then you'd go under. And basically you'd grab their arm. And then this one's a little hard because you're stepping and then you're taking them down to the ground. So they'd be on their stomach right now. They'd be laying on their stomach. And then you would put your foot on their back so they stay there. And then, hi! So that movement is basically pulling someone's hair out or their pin to the ground. Just so you guys know, this is the only thing I would not recommend you do out of the call unless you actually have experience because this can really, really, really hurt someone. Um, because we actually don't actually hurt each other when we do this. This is the movement of pulling out the hair, but we're just like, it's, uh, so this is really, it includes a lot of contact. So the last one for self-defense, so fun fact, there actually are over eight self-defenses, but we only get to choose three for our black belt testing. So I'm doing the three I chose, same with one-step sparring. So last one for self-defense. Self-defense. So someone would be grabbing your belt, and what you'd be doing is you'd be grabbing their hand, and you'd be stepping in. And basically what you're doing from here is if someone was like right here, and they had their hand like grabbing my shoulder, I'd be pushing their hand, and then my front foot would move. And I'd bring them down to the ground, they'd be laying on their stomach. And, then, and I would be pinning their arm, holding their arm. And what I'd be doing right now is this hand here would be aimed right towards the elbow. And basically what I do is, hi! So basically I'd be pushing their elbow and breaking their elbow. Um, so this is very, very, this includes a lot of contact. Now is self-defense, self, no, once that's wrong, sorry guys. Self, once the sparring does not include as much contact, it's a lot more kicks. 
So self-defense only includes this. One step sparring is just basically, so if someone was doing this towards me, I yell, so they step forward and punch. And when they're punching at me, what would happen is that you'd go here, which would be pushing their arm. So this is neck and shake. You guys could go here. Too. Yep. So then it's up. So this would be, their arm would be like right here. So then you're gonna like, you hit them in the face and then you kick them and then ah! that would be elbowing them right in the spine so I'd break their spine. This would be a lot of easier if I could have Um, but, and then the next one is the only one that involved in kicking stance. So if someone was punching towards me, I'd go into kicking stance and then I'd step back my front foot. Jumping front side, make a double punch. So that's, that's the one to kick. So if you didn't see that jumping front side, it's just like one knee up and then just jump, switch, and then double punch. So this is my last self defense. This, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, one step sparring, which is, let me think of it. Um, so, Front snap kick, big step back. This is turning behind up being right up kick, which you already did. So, hey, and then you just do an extra step. This is my sparring gear. So I actually already have shin pads on. So I also wear gloves for sparring. So my gloves protect my hands and fingers. These don't look very sturdy, but actually they really are. Someone can punch me as hard as they want to and I don't feel anything. So that proves that they're pretty sturdy. Um, I'm not actually gonna be sparring with someone today. I'll just do sparring in the air. So I will pretend I'm sparring with someone, but I'm just putting on my gear even though I'm not, I'm not like to get kicked by an invisible person. Um, but, we would be doing contact sparring with the I would be doing contact sparring with the teacher, but I can't because like I said, it's COVID and sadly that's not, that hasn't allowed us to do sparring contact. Technically, if I was doing full sparring, I'd have a chest, I'd have a chest pad that wraps around my chest and my back. But since I'm not a full contact spar, this is my mouth guard. I don't want to wear my mouth guard under my mouth guard, okay. And then, and then my helmet, which, as you can see, protects my head. Um, so this is pretty much our full sparring gear. Um, we don't wear that much, unless, if you guys know, we also do full sparring, but I'm not a full sparer, so. I don't wear, hold on. I don't wear my gold gear because I'm not a full spar, so. So now I will show you what sparring actually looks like. So, guys, yeah, there's, I'm not sparring anyone, like I said, just pretend someone's sparring me, so. Hey! 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 hey. Hi! So that's what we basically do for sparring. So, as we move up through the belt ranks, we do harder sparring, but that's what we do for my level. So, as black belts, we do sword routines. I'm not a black belt yet, but I've seen people do sword routines. Um, so, I have, I have three main instructors at my studio. Um, so Master Mr. Chadwick, who you saw do um, my boards with me. Um, Master Joe, who is actually from Korea. He is a fourth degree black belt and he actually came from Korea to teach us. So um, he's the highest belt in our studio right now. And then there's also Mr. Ramos who is testing for his third on. Um, so those are three people who have been with me all through my journey to black belt. Um, two of, one of them isn't here right now and the other one is in class. So 
Um, but so they've been doing Taekwondo for a really, really, really long time. So they're all um, really high in the level of belts. But fun fact, after black belt class, we actually, when we get to black belt, we actually start to, we get to train with our teachers. So not just like, they don't teach us, we train alongside with them. So technically then we get to train with them, which is really cool. Um,